Hey guys, um, before we start the video, just a very quick one. Um, we deliver New Japan Korean content every month. We open one of these every month. Uh, if you do want to see more of it, along with a whole bunch of Let's Plays uh, and other videos, make sure to hit subscribe down below. It means a whole lot to me. Let's get on with the video. Hey guys, it's RumbleFox here. We're back for another Japan Crate. I know it's just gonna be like, it's gonna feel like you've just binged watched. Japan Crate videos from me because I'm recording them so quickly I'm trying to catch up. Um, it's only been, uh, I think we recorded the last video two days ago. Um, I've finished everything in that box. That was a really good box. Last month's was top tier. Really tasty. Lots of crisps. Send me more crisps Japan Crate, please. Um, this box I'm sure is going to be just as good. Uh, I'm very excited. I'll show you which one we're doing. This month we are doing June's Japan Crate. And this, uh, this month's Japan Crate is sponsored by, I don't know if it's sponsored, but it's in partnership with an animation, uh, an anime called Fruits Basket. It's quite cool. So this is the, this is the book for June. This is the guide for June. And this is the thing, if you've never, if you've never um, watched it before, you've got no idea what it is. It's quite handy because it gives you like, a whole rundown of all the different characters and like all the different relationships and stuff because from what I gather it's like I don't know I think it's kind of vaguely confusing if you've never watched it before but um it looks quite dope let me read out the little thing for it uh, let's all gather around to enjoy this special edition fruits basket Japan crate we've partnered with our friends at Funimation to bring delightful treats in celebration of the long-awaited return of fruits basket it has been two decades since we first met Toru Honda and the Soma family for some, this is the first time they are learning about the Soma secret, and for others, it is a rekindling in their hearts of a well-beloved story and its characters. These are kind of the some of the stills from it. Um, I'll probably give it a go. It's on Crunchyroll, so if you have Crunchyroll, then uh, give it a shout. It's on Funimation, so if you have the Funimation app on um, like console, because I've got it on my PlayStation, then uh, you can use it there as well. So yeah, I'm definitely going to check it out. One of the things that you get with this one as well, actually, is... You get pin badges. I love pin badges. They're quite good quality, actually. They're quite um, detailed. I don't know who any of these characters are. Actually, no, I should know because we've got, so we've got Toru Honda, which is this one here. She's the main character. And then we've got Yuki Soma, which is this one in the middle. And then Kyo Soma which is the one at the bottom. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna give this a go. This looks like a pretty cool anime. Anyway, if you haven't eaten or watched Japan Crate videos before, where have you been? And secondly, it's super easy to try them out. I'll put a link to the website down below so you can go and have a look. But if you don't know what Japan Crate is, it is a subscription service. You pay them money and they send you treats. And those kind of treats uh, doesn't have to be candy. They do a whole bunch of other stuff. So they do the candy one, which we get because we're super unhealthy and we love sweets. One that's like proper foods, um, beauty and makeup. And you can also get one that's like kawaii and it's got a bunch of really cute stuff in it. And there's a different uh, tier system available as well. You've got mini, original and premium. We get the premium one. The premium one gets you the most items. It's also the only one that gets you a drink if you're going for the like the snack based box. Um, so it's super worth it. I'll go through the mini ones and then the original ones and then the premium ones. So you can get a feel for exactly how many items you're gonna get in one of these boxes. But totally, totally worth it. Um, you should go and check them out right now. Just like stop watching, just go, go look at them. Also, what I wanna know guys is if you do sign up for Japan Crate, um, because you should, because it's delicious. If you do sign up for Japan Crate, please let me know about it. Tweet me at Rumplefugs on Twitter. Let me know. Show me a picture if it arrives. I'm very excited. I would love to know that everyone is going and buying this product because it's totally delicious. So let's get started. We're going to start with the mini crate stuff. So mini crate, you get five items in the mini crate and then with the original items, the original box, you get another five. So that makes it 10. And then with the premium one, uh, this month, you got one, two, three, so you get uh, another eight items, 18 items in total. So it does kind of differ. Last month we had 20, this month we get 18, but there's quite a lot of big things uh, this month. So that kind of makes up for it. So let's start with the mini stuff. So these, this is Mikan Moki. Perhaps Momiji made this Moki like the classic folklore about the Moki making rabbit on the moon. It's Mikan Moki, also known as Tangerine Moki Candy. Love Tangerine. Aha! That's adorable. Okay, hang on. Let's try and get into this. Oh, this is super cute. Okay, so you get like a little um, cocktail stick. So you can be like, 
Hmm. Yeah, they've got that, that definite tangerine flavor. And they're a little chewy, but um, not too much. And they're really bite size. I can eat so many of these. You get 12 in the packet. You can see how much I've butchered this packet. Like ripped it straight along the top here. Awful. And close it back up again. I say you can close them back up again. If you don't destroy the packaging like I did, then you absolutely could do that. But I can't. I can't do that because I've, I've destroyed that. I'll just have to eat them all in one. What a shame. Okay, this is King Melon's bread. Or no, King's Melon bread. Man, I wish it was King Melon. What a great name for a king. Okay, this is King's Melon bread. Uh, melon bread is a popular uh, Japanese bread that's often available in school stores. Now it's your turn to try it with these melon bread cookies. Their sweet and crunchy taste will transport you to Tori's classroom. I like cookies. I do like cookies. Actually, I have heard of melon bread before. Let's give it a taste. These little biscuits. Mmm. What is that in the middle? That's wild. So the outside, the actual cookie itself, tastes, yeah, it's kind of got that little, it's kind of got a melony taste to it, I suppose. But in the middle, it's got chocolate. So it's a really nice combination. Hmm. Hmm. There's another two in there. Yeah, they're good. I can see why they're so popular in schools. They're delicious. I've got water with me today. It's actually, it's roasting outside. It's crazy hot. I'm trying very hard not to dehydrate myself. Okay, now we all know my feelings on gum, so I'm just gonna show you the gum. I'm not gonna try the gum. Oh, oh no, maybe I will try this one. I will try this one. So this is, I'm gonna try it. It's spelled A-O-B-E. Now, is that Aobi? Maybe. This is Aobi gum. Sorry, I have butchered that name. Apologies. But this is no ordinary gum. Chew on the soda flavor for a while and stick out your tongue. What's new? Or was your tongue always like that? Don't make any permanent alterations to my tongue, please. I'm not okay with that. All right, let's give it a go. Hmm, sort of flavor. That's quite nice. Hmm, it gets quite fizzy as well. I don't know how long a while is. Hey, blue tongue. It's actually quite nice. Come. I wonder how um poppable it is. Okay, let's try. It. Oh, it's not. I don't think this is a poppable gum. Nah. No popping ability. That's very sad. It's really, like, really uh, soda-y. That's nice. That is the only gum I will ever, I will ever eat again. That's that's all you got for me. All right, this next one. Looking here, actually, I'm just, I'm looking, I'm looking at the items that you get. There's a lot of uh, grape. Grape seems to be a, quite a popular theme this this month, which is which is cool. Um, I quite like grape flavored stuff. Interesting to see all the kind of different varieties of grape, I suppose. This one is Kajiriko Grape and Soda. Why have one flavor when you can have two? This candy is double layered with grape on the outside and soda on the inside. Delicious. Oh yes, it's one of these. These are great. Oh wow, you get the grape on the outside. Mmm, and then you get the soda on the inside. That's really nice actually. Yeah, it's delicious. They're very similar to um, the ones we get. The ones we get in the UK are like the strawberry, like the thick strawberry laces, and they've got like the nondescript candy flavor in the inside. That's what these taste like. Oh, that's the kind of um, texture they have, but the flavor is really nice. Mmm, yum. All right. So the last thing you get in the um, mini crate is this. This is apparently this is matcha milk shimo choco but then it says shimi choco in the description i don't know if it's shimi choco or shimo choco i'm actually intrigued as to whether which one it is shimi choco a fan favorite snack now in a new limited flavor these star-shaped cookies are made with uji matcha and white chocolate a popular bittersweet flavor combo in japan intrigued oh smell like matcha these little stars. Look at them. They're so cute. I see what they mean about the kind of bitter sweetness. I don't know how to describe the flavor. There is that kind of matcha tea flavor, but there's something else. It's nice. I like those. Those are good. And like, so there's, there's that many. 
there's that, that many. I was gonna be like, look at the size of this bag, but actually there's very little. So that's everything that you get in the mini crate. It's designed to be kind of like a taster, so if you're not quite sure whether or not you'll like it. So no, that's quite, it's quite a good one. And then moving on to the original crate. One of the things you get in the original crate is the do-it-yourself stuff. Um, I suck at these, I never make these. Um, but this one I'm actually gonna try out because it looks really easy to make. I feel like even I couldn't get this wrong. This is Warugaki Beer Candy. It's beer for children. Yes, you read that correctly. Make your own glass of ice cold beer with this bad kids beer DIY. Don't worry, it's not actually beer, but it sure does look like it. I'm actually fascinated um, to, try, to try this out. Cause it's basically just put it in a cup, add water, stir it up, see what you get. I'm, I will, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this out and I'm gonna put pictures up on my Instagram and uh, tell you what it, it tastes like. Cause it's actually looks fascinating. But you always get a DIY kit. Some people love it. I suck at them, so I never make them. So next up, this is Donguri Apple Candy. This candy is a lot like Kyo. It has a green apple hard exterior, but if you take some time, you'll uncover the soft gum center. Now, if I'd watched the anime, I would get that reference, but I'm sure I will. So I'm guessing, so is this kind of like a gobstopper there? Mm. Oh, wow, it's apple-y. Oh, that's really apple-y. Oh, the center is so sweet. Oh man, that is really nice. But, ooh, and like you could, you could eat like, so I just like crunched into that. You could totally eat that like a gobstopper. Mm, delicious. What is this? <laughs> okay, this is mini bottle candy. I have to show you this. The dude on the packaging is so cute. Look at him. Look, he's just a duck minding his own business. Someone dressed him up as that. Not quite sure what what his outfit is, but he's adorable. Pop up on one of these mini bottles to sip on the powder flavored candy. Receive one of three flavors, cider, strawberry, and lemon. Now I think we've got cider because the packaging is blue. I've got no idea what this is. So if this is what cider is supposed to taste like, Sure. You know dib dabs? The powder that you get in dib dabs is just if you like shot that. That's what this tastes like. And it's not bad, but it's super sweet. It could either be cider, strawberry, or lemon. It's definitely not strawberry. Maybe it's lemon, but I feel like why would they put it in a blue? The, the reason I say why would they put it in a blue thing is because on the um, on the guide, that one's like, it's got like a yellow thing for it. And that's clearly like, that's clearly, in fact, actually looking up really close at it, like it's a dude with a lemon head. So, so it's clearly not the lemon one either. Do they think that's what cider tastes like? Man, I wish cider tasted like that, that's glorious. Next up, we've got these. This is Buntan Candy. A traditional candy started in the 1970s. It is Buntan flavor. I don't know what Buntan is. A citrus also known as pomelo, which has a sweet and sour flavor. Each chewy piece is wrapped in rice paper that will melt in your mouth. Okay, cool. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So you can just eat the paper. I feel uncomfortable eating paper. Oh yeah, it is, it's rice paper. Okay, I can eat this. Mmm. Oh, they're weird. Good weird, but weird. The taste is really familiar, but I don't know why. They kind of have that sour aftertaste, but like it's not a strong sour at all. Mmm, cool. The last thing you get in your uh, original crate are these. Kataage potato salt and wasabi. Now, crack open these and take a whiff of fresh wasabi. These extra crispy crisp chips are slow fried to keep them crunchy and packed with spicy wasabi flavor. Now, last month's crate gave us, oh wow, that is wasabi. <laughs> I guess it's all from here. Uh, last month's crate gave us the jalapeno and onion Pringles. And um, I was like, oh God, they're gonna be really hot. And actually they weren't, they weren't hot at all. Or they kind of had like heat and then it just kind of went, yeah, eat some more. That's good crisp uh, consistency. Oh, dang. These are hot. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah they've got such a strong wasabi taste. Wow. These are gonna take me a really long time to eat. 
They taste great. I really like the taste of wasabi. I love that kind of kick. But it is a, it's a kick and a half. Uh, it's definitely a, a drink of water after each one. And look, look at the bag size. Look at that. That's a huge bag. I'm not going to eat those on water. They're going to take me out a good long while to eat. <laughs> So that's everything you get in your original crate. Your original crate is um, kind of like your standard size, I suppose. However, because we like to eat as much candy as possible, we get the premium crate. It is worth noting that everything that you get in the, the higher tier, you get all the stuff from the bottom tiers as well. So you get all the stuff from the mini and the original in the premium. You also get, in premium, you get these. These are fruits jelly beans, obviously. Uh, like the game Toru played as a child, these jelly beans are uh, like a fruit basket. Strawberry, orange, grape. Hopefully your fruit will get called into the circle to play. So, in the small amount of research I did on Fruits Basket um, before this video, uh, Fruits Basket is a game they play in school in Japan, which I'm going to look more into because I'm kind of like fascinated. Is it like, I was going to say Conquerors, but it's not Conquerors, but like, I don't know. Must be some kind of knock them out style game. Fascinating. Um, so yeah, these ones, so there's what? The strawberry, orange, grape. Well, I think there's more flavors than that though, because there's like green ones in here as well. Okay, this one's clearly grape. Mmm. Oh, it's jelly beans. What's the green one then? I don't know what flavor that is. Cherry maybe? No, I don't think it's cherry. Oh, it's apple. Of course it's apple, it's green. There's cherry in here as well, apparently. These are very nice. These are very nice. Actually, no, that one was... No, that one is cherry. Yeah, I could eat, like, so many packets of these. We've got jelly beans that are really similar in the UK, but the flavor's not that good, and they kind of taste very... Um, they've got, like, a really weak flavor of fruit, and then they taste very artificial. And those ones, they've got a really strong flavor in them which is great. Uh, next up, let's go with this one. This is Puku Puku Thai mint flavor. So stay cool with this refreshing taiyaki. It's airy mint flavor is perfect for summer. We've had one of these before. They're just kind of like wafer style biscuits in the shape of the fish. And they always get destroyed um, in transit, poor fish. This one is no exception. We'll put you together. It's fine. This is him. A little bit of the issue with the mouth, but that's okay. It just tastes like mint. Oh, it smells like mint. That is minty fresh. This is yummy. Yeah, it's really nice. I like the fight also. I don't know why I really like this, but it says so cool. <laughs> I just think that's great. I think that's great. Worth. Next up, this is Ramane Sour Grape. Ramane, everyone's favorite Japanese soda, in fizzy candy form, now in new sour grape flavor. I love ramen soda, love it. You get it at your sushi and it makes me very happy. Cause I don't have like a Japanese supermarket anywhere near me or a Chinese supermarket. So um, I find it really hard to like buy the soda balls. So I'll drink tons of it when we go out for dinner. Wah. They actually pack such a punch. They taste a bit like refreshers. They're tiny in flavor. The only thing I will say with these, and the reason I say they taste like refreshers, and those kind of like that kind of style, is is they have that kind of powdery artificial aftertaste that you get. Like the the, the initial taste is like wow, and lots of flavor, and then it kind of has this weird powder taste afterwards. They're fine. They're not as great as I was hoping. But they're they're okay. They're okay. This fascinates me. This is a fruit gummy can. I love it. I think it's the best. <gasps> oh my goodness. Me can slices in a can, just like you can buy in the Japanese supermarket. Except they're even better because they are cute slices of chewy and juicy me can gummy. Mmm. These are really nice. Oh, I can eat so many of these. Look at them. That was so cute. They've kind of got a real burst of flavor as well, which is great. More grape stuff now. This is Puru Moki Grape. Uh, these grape gummies are squishy like Moki. They also use Japanese grape juice as recipe for this strong and tasty flavor. 
Excellent. Oh, they come in their own individual packaging. What? That's really cool. Oh, fizzy. Oh. Oh. They're so strong. They're really yummy. No wonder they package them individually. Can you imagine if these were just like in there on their- Oh man, I would just eat the entire bag. It wouldn't even look. Just tip it upside down. Ah. Just eat all of them at once. Oh man, they're so nice. And they've got such a hit of sugar as well. What? They're not resealable. The packaging is not resealable. That's okay because they're individually packaged, so it gets away with that. That's fine. Next up, we've got more gum. This is grape gum. Uh, each piece of this original gum tastes, looks like a little grape and it tastes like one too. I'm sure they do. We ain't opening more gum. I don't know what to do with it. I've got too much. Uh, but I'm gonna leave the drink for last because the drink, I'm not gonna lie, the drink kind of freaks me out. Um, so we'll look at that in a minute. But before that, we've got uh, brown chocolate Ginza Rusk. Toru made this delicious chocolate treat for you, just as she did for the Somos. These chocolate rusks, which are crispy, sweet pieces of dried toast, yes, are baked with rich chocolate and coated with cocoa powder to seriously curb your chocolate craving. Nothing curbs my chocolate craving, don't be ridiculous. Okay. Oh, they're super chocolatey. Oh, mm. Man, rusk is great. So that's them, just kind of like little toast bites. Really nice chocolate flavor. Those are really nice. Okay, this is, this is, this is afternoon tea. This is cheese milk tea flavor. I don't even know, I don't even know. I've got no idea, I've got no idea. Cheese tea is apparently very trendy in Japan. Afternoon tea made their own milk tea tasting like mascarpone. The limited edition design features a classic Japanese school setting similar to the ones you would see um, our fruit baskets heroes in. I, okay, we'll just, let's just have it. So we're gonna, it's gonna be milk, but it's gonna taste like cheese. Maybe, I don't, I don't really know. Okay, yeah, yeah, it smells like cheese. This is a really strange experience. <laughs> so, it tastes, it's got the consistency and taste of like milk tea, right? Totally fine. But then it's got this aftertaste that's like kind of cheesy. It's a really weird, this is a really weird aftertaste. I don't actually know how to, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's, um, yeah, that is a new experience. That is a new experience. It's not bad, it's, it's fine. It is just the sensation. Okay, so this is the easiest way to describe it. My other half, Chris, um, he, he, he can't stand Japan great stuff, um, which is outrageous, quite frankly. The reason he can't is because he doesn't like the idea of having food that tastes like other food. So like, um, he'll get crisps and he'll be like, why do these taste like I'm eating toast? This is weird. So whatever, right? My brain can't get over the fact that this tastes like cheese. <laughs> it's like, why am I drinking cheese? Uh, that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't be a thing that happens. But like the other part of my brain's like, oh, this is quite nice. Um, so it's good. It's it's weird. It's weird and wonderful. I'm very impressed. So yeah, so that's everything that you get in this month's Japan crate. Quite a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of like large size stuff as well. Uh, very few things that I could eat in a winter, which is good because that means that they're gonna keep me going for ages, ages and ages and ages. I think that's definitely going in the top three. I will put these in. They're pretty good. And you, you know what? Sure, 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 sure. Let's take these as well. Okay, so in third place, I had to think about this, but in third place are wasabi crisps. These are actually, um, they're, they're so hot. They're so hot. Like they're just like, uh, you're like, your mouth can't take it hot until you finish one and you're like, yeah, but I gotta get another though. Because the consistency is really good. They've got extra salt on them. So they're just kind of like, whoa. I don't know how, but I really want to binge them. I really want to just like eat the entire packet in a one I don't think I would be able to, but I would love to try. Um, in second place, I 
feel like, did I definitely make the right decision here? Yeah, no, I did, I did, I did. In second place, yes. In second place are these, uh, the rusks, the chocolate rusks. They're really nice, they're a really good snack. Um, I really like, like the, the kind of burnt toast taste is great. Um, it's really chocolatey, they're quite bite-sized, they've got a nice little box. Yeah, I like everything about these. These are really nice. They actually come very close with um, the matcha tea biscuits as well, but I like the flavour of the chocolate ones more, which is why they've gone in and the other ones haven't. And then in first place, I feel like, am I wrong? Trust your instinct. First place is Puro Moki Grape. These are really nice. They're bite-sized, they've got great flavour, they're sugary, they've got a kick. I'm not going to eat them all at once because they're all individually packaged. They're, they're, they're awesome. They're really great. I mean, extra props for this little dude on the front who's having a great time. They're, they're awesome. I really like these kind of sweets. I think they're delicious. Yeah, I'm not going to change my mind. That's definitely, that is definitely, that's our top three. That's definitely our top three. That was really good. That was a really good Japan crate, actually. Um, I'm really interested to, to try out Fruits Basket and see what it's like. Um, like I say, you can find it on Crunchyroll. You can find it on Funimation. Um, and I'm sure there are other places you can find it as well if you don't have those services, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, I am quite looking forward to July's crate. If I'm right, I think it is a video game themed one uh, of a game that looks well, it, it's amazing. It's an amazing game. I'm not going to spoil anymore, um, especially because if I'm wrong, then that would be really embarrassing. Um, yeah, but that's going to hopefully arrive in the next week or so, and then we'll get that recorded and out to you. So it shouldn't be too long. Um, and then it will be back to regular programming um, from there. And hopefully as well, there should be some gaming videos starting to go back up on the channel um, because streams are going to be restarting quite soon. Um, it's just getting everything back in order and set up and having time and all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for um, enjoying all these tasty, tasty, tasty Japanese candies. Um, let me know what you like the most in the comments down below. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, we'll put one of these out um, every month usually, but it's a bit of a bit of a, a clump of them together just now, uh, which is <laughs> totally my fault, but never mind. You can also find me on social media over at uh, Twitter slash Rumpelfogs or Instagram, Instagram slash Rumpelfogs um, and twitch.tv slash Rumpelfogs, where I promise I do occasionally stream uh, more in the future in the in the upcoming future than I have been in the last few months. Awkward. Um, so thank you so much for watching again. I will catch you guys later. Have a great rest of your week, month, whatever, and I'll see you soon. Bye!